Thank you. Thank you, sir, for being here. Well, you know the background, what happened here. More than 270 lives were lost. This report has come out, though it's not final, it's not complete, but it does pose a lot of questions. It does leave a lot of open ends. Whether there was pilot error, can these switches that are being talked about, Captain Pete, be turned on and off because of a software malfunction is the first big question I want to ask you. Because in India, there is an uproar amongst pilots that this report so far is hinting or pointing towards pilot error. What do you say? Well, first and foremost, can I just say that uh, hitherto I have uh, deliberately been in absentia to this debate because I don't feel it is appropriate to comment on accidents and particularly accidents of this nature. Um, I'm a pilot, not an air accident investigator, and the folk that do that invaluable job uh, are ex highly experienced. They're very, very clued up and qualified people for the job. And up to this point, uh, any comments and chatter on the internet has been based on speculation. And speculation uh, is insensitive and I think actually disrespectful to all those that lost their lives, their loved ones, their families, uh, and to the airline, to the country, and to aviation globally. So I think it's only right that we put everything in perspective. And sure. any of the things I say here are, yes, my opinion, but they're based on uh, what I've uh, gleaned as facts from this uh, preliminary uh, transmission from the board and some stuff I've seen uh, on imagery. So can I just say that um, the, uh, the preliminary report is just that. It is a very brief pricey of essentially what the investigators find at the site. And they have summarized that in the 15 odd pages that they have produced. Some details are in there, there's no question, but there are no conclusions to be drawn from it. It's initial findings, initial leads, and areas of particular interest. But this investigation is going to last a year or more, uh, during which other lines of inquiry will be investigated and may produce uh, more uh, detailed investigation. And it's only really when they have uh, correlated and collated okay. uh, all the details and the facts and the reports of witness statements that they can actually uh, get down to the bottom of what has happened. Now, the fuel switches to which you refer are an area of interest and the, the preliminary report refers to the fact that these appear to have gone from their run condition where they feed fuel to the engines just like the fuel pump to your motor car engine and then there is a time very shortly after it gets airborne a single digit number of seconds where it is reported that the flight data recorder uh, has registered that they went to the off position now, why they have been recorded as going to the off position, it is not categorically proven. It is merely a suggestion that they have been moved uh, by one of the members of the crew on the flight deck. Uh, we don't even know was there a third pilot on the flight deck. But let's say one or other of them may have moved them. At least that's the insinuation of the audio tape saying that one questioned the other. Uh, then that person is alleged to have denied it. Uh, these aeroplanes are largely fly by wire, uh, hundreds of computers, and it should not be discounted that one possible explanation is also that there was some sort of software or electrical glitch. So um, we shouldn't run away with the idea that it is uh, malpractice or unprofessionalism or some deliberate act or start pointing the finger at anybody, because I do stress that at this stage it is only starting the investigation, no recommendations, no conclusions and no directives. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.